Hello, I'm Brett Mitchell, former assistant conductor of the Houston Symphony, here today to offer those of you doing Classical 91.7's air conducting contest a few helpful pointers as you set on your way. If you'll be conducting Wagner's Ride of the Valkyries, you'll need to know how to conduct in three. And we use a pattern as conductors, the same every single bar of three beats that we ever conduct. The downbeat, or beat one, always goes down. First beat, down. The second beat goes out, away from your body. So it's one, two. Well, as you can imagine, if you need to go down for one, beat three has to go up so you're in the right place. So beat three, all of them together. Down, out, up. Down, out, up. One, two, three. <laughs> Obviously, we have to do it in the tempo that Wagner writes, which is faster than what I just demonstrated. So get yourselves comfortable with one, two, three. Down, out, up. A little faster. Down, up, down, out, up. Dim, da dum, dim, dum, dim, da dum, dim, dum. Try not to sing Kill the Wabbit while you're practicing. <laughs> For those of you conducting Strauss's, also Sprach's Zarathustra, you'll need to know how to conduct not in three, but in four. So we add one beat to the three beat pattern we just learned. One still goes down, but two, instead of going out, two goes across the body to your left. So one, two, three, out, four, down, in, out, up, or as we used to say in conducting school, floor, door, wall, ceiling. Floor, door, wall, ceiling. And that's a 4-4 pattern. The whole point of this contest is to have fun. And the whole point of what we do on the podium is to represent the music physically. What you're hearing, our job is to act that out. So this is your chance. Have fun, get creative. Do your best to physically, visually depict what you're hearing. Enjoy yourself and enjoy the music.